going on YouTube. I just got my new shifter extender for my um, truck and I figured I might as well make a video on how to install a shift knob while I'm doing it. So that's what we're going to do. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take off this right here. It's a little um, 15 Allen. That comes off, and then the boot is able to slide down, and then it'll give you access to what's under here. And I'll show you what's going on under there when we're done. And that's what it looks like when it is off. You have your two air lines right here and right here. Just remember you make sure you remember which the, which one these are these go to so take a picture do whatever you got to do there's um a letter here and a letter on the other side so you could just remember what a letter you put it to so um one thing i didn't I, I i messed up on i said it was a 15 allen i believe to get that boot off the boot is down you could just let it roll out it's actually a 15 in um torque torque that's what i meant to say now you could um there's um would be this locking nut there would be this locking nut right here but I just don't have the locking nut because I put in a new shifter knob as you know on my um, couple weeks ago and I didn't put the I just turned the new shift knob until it was good and tight I'm gonna have the locking nut when I put on the, this extender that I'm going to put on I'm going to have the locking nut on the extender actually and I'm going to tighten up the shift knob the same way I did on this because I like it better that way so what you want to do next is basically just remove the air holes that's it or you could take off the cap I'm not going to need to take off the cap on mine because I'm keeping this shift knob but when you um, take off the cap, there's going to be two or three. I think it's two um, torque. I think they're both either 20 torque T20s or T15s under here. And then that will allow this to come off, the top part to come off. Because this is just uh, where the air gets supplied to for the splitter. This actually comes off where you could change the knobs. And I'm like, I'll show you. This was my old knob, the chrome one. This comes off, boom, and then this comes on. The only reason I didn't use this splitter, I don't know why I didn't. Oh yeah, because the new one, I went to go get a new thing, and this one came with a new um, splitter. So I was just like, I'll just use a new one. So you take this um, cap off, the eaten cap, and then there's two screws torque or screwdriver it doesn't screw screws it doesn't even matter um, as long as they have the right thread and then this comes off and then you have this just this that you you know twist right off I'll show you there it is obviously let all the air out and then you got your two fittings that's what it looks like take this off the flat piece comes off and then this is separate right here but um I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Take it off this. Put it on this. Extensions on. Shifter's high as hell now. That's the way I like it. All you gotta do basically now is put back on the boot and you're all set. I had to, you know, get some line and some um, quick quick connects. Usually these lines are five thirty seconds that go into these, but mine's uh eighth, uh, one eighth um, lines and one eighth um, quick connects. And that's how the cookie crumbles, y'all. Just installed the extender, shifter extender, and um I told you how to install a new shift knob. It's really, really easy. Really easy. Like I said, just take off the boot with the 15 um, torque, 
T15. Take off this cap, get a pick, jam it in there, poop, pop that off. There's two Torque 15s or Torque 20s in here. And then this will come off, and then you just turn this off with the locking nut. That's usually right here, but I used it for right over here. And this is tight up here. You can just turn it until it's tight. And that's how it comes. I'm going to put some zip ties right here so that this is not, you know, just dangling. And that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and that subscribe button for me for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.